grabber. That's what they used to call me in high school. It was just a nickname. It didn't mean anything. I wasn't actually grabbing booties. Today, we're gonna be checking out the scariest, most evil, demented, satanic games. But, boy, you bit that ass. We are so close to 400,000 subscribers. So if you want to help the channel get there, then please just do it now. Click the subscribe button. Go, go, go. And yeah, comment down below how old you are. Are you five? Or are you eight? Or are you 18? <laughs> Let me know. And let's go. Oh my oh God, no. what is that? Bro, we're just going to treat that like it's normal? Yes. Yo, no way. I would be out of this place, like, right now. If I witnessed that, it'd be over. It's a wrap. Why would you even work here? It is <laughs> really dark on this. It's a little dark. You mean a little dark? You mean it's, like, super dark? Yeah, let's just go inside. Sounds like a plan to me. Great. Come on, man. Maybe. Be brave. Oh, no. A cage? Why is there a cage down here? It's not like there's anything there scary cages? in there. Okay, good. Let's get out. <laughs> <laughs> Man, come on, bro. It ain't that scary. Look at his face. He looks like he's taking a poo. I mean, bro, what's wrong? You ran out of toilet paper? <laughs> yeah, you got it. It's nobody scary. It's just Mrs. Han. She just wants to know what's going on. At least she didn't stab you when you weren't looking. You could have been screwed. Terrifying games you shouldn't play, part six. Sever the cord. There is a theory that when we look at a mirror, we're not actually looking at a reflection of ourselves, but rather an alternate dimension. Inside this mirror dimension, there exists copies of us which mirror our moves. This game allows you to sever that cord. But be careful, the consequences of playing the game wrong could be dire. In order to play this game, you'll need to go into a room with a mirror, cover all the windows, and wait until nightfall. You'll need to turn off the lights and stare at the mirror until you truly believe that it is a copy of yourself instead of just your reflection. Once you have done this, you'll need to turn the lights back on. If your reflection is gone, you have successfully played the game. Now you'll just have to wait. Within a week, one of the copies will begin to decay until they pass away, while the other one will experience great joy and prosperity. But be warned, there's no way of telling which one you'll be before playing the game. No! You a copy? I thought you was just my reflection. Let's see if you know what I'm gonna do, ready? Oh, he's good. You want me to play a demon game where uh, I try to sever the, the cord with these other dimensional beings in the mirror? No, goatee man, I'm not gonna do it. You'd be the worst like friend for like peer pressure. You'd be like, guys, let's play a game called Sever the Cord. What happened to Uno? Jeez, we could just, or, or let's play basketball. You know, games that normal kids play. Look at that thing in the mirror. It's trying to get out. Let's go try. Yo, booty. <laughs> Um, where did that come from? Sorry, sorry guys, here we go. It's 11 right, 8 left, in one of the safes in the grandpa's office. In your mom's that's, office. That's all I got. Oh. Okay. I'm scared. So let's go find a 931 and match that one to it. Whoa! Madison, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Where is it? Well, don't go towards it. <laughs> come on, Madison. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Scare me, scare me, scare you me, Madison. It. Come on, come on, come on. I'm prepped. I'm prepped. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. You can scare me now. You can scare me. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, SpongeBob. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yep, 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 yep. It's not as scary if I do that. Come on, girl. Man it's up. It's not as scary if I do that. That's a good strat. Imagine going down the upstairs hallway and you see that thing. Oh, really, girl? We're seeing the face you'd make if you saw a demon in front of you. That's it. Come on now. You got to make a better face than that. Not like, what, 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 what is this? I know you weren't expecting him, but like, you know, come on. Give, give me like, give me like a little more scared. Right now, you look like you just sat on a whoopee cushion. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Do people still make whoopee cushion? Do you guys know what a whoopee cushion is? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. The white eyed children are just like the black eyed children. That's racist. They're even more dangerous. So they'll pretty much do the same. Knock on the door. Be like, can you help me? Will you let me in? No. They're usually not alone. So they're going to be like, will you let us in? But the difference is if you say no, it doesn't matter. They'll go inside your house anyway, which is so, so much scarier. They can teleport, brainwash people and hypnotize them, which is pretty much brainwashing them. Some people say that they're actually the masters of the black eyed children. What? They're known for disappearing right before people's eyes. Like they'll fade away. And the theory is the same. They're believed to be either vampires, hybrids, human alien hybrids, or even 
Sorry, I don't know if I can say that word. They don't do anything to you. What, you demons? Leave, but if you see them, that means that someone close to you is about to. Or maybe even you. Within a matter of days to weeks. All right, all right, all right, all right, jeez. Why can't the white-eyed children and the black-eyed children go to the same school or, or like get along? You gotta separate them, You're separating the black eyes from the white eyes, wow. Some things never change. But seriously, how come they're all white in the back? Like, where's the black, white-eyed children, okay? Like, like, we need some diversity back there. It's looking like a dang cult, what's going on? Watch out for these crazy kids. They're the ones that'll push you into the street. Um. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, it's time to get oh, out of that man, hospital. Ow! No, there's no way she fit under here. Ah! <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna need you to man up, Luigi. And why the heck are you wearing a Captain America shirt if you gonna get this scared? Captain America was brave. You shame his name. You're acting like the demon is gonna come through your computer screen and, and get you. As much as I wish that were the case for you, but uh, you're fine. We all know good and well you done peed your pants. I bet you, you got so scared you forgot to pick up your kids from school and forgot to sign the divorce papers. If you find a creepy looking videotape, do not watch it. Let's, Let's watch talk it. about a terrifying free horror game about a disappearance. She follows. Like I said, this game is all about investigating a disappearance. A man has gone missing, so you go to his flat, peel off the caution tape around his door, and head in. You search around his apartment for clues, and you find a note. The note's from the man that went missing, and he thinks he's being followed by someone. And this someone is a woman that has him absolutely terrified. Your mama? One of the only other clues you find in the house is a tape. So you decide to pop it in the VCR and see what's on it. This was a mistake because now she knows you're here. It turns out she has another tape to make and you're the subject of it. No! Who the heck has a VHS player? Like, really, you want me to watch the tape? How old are you, girl? I mean, geez. There ain't been VHS player VCR since 1999. That was a long time ago. I swear, if I see that girl's face, I'ma slap the blood off her lip. And you, homeboy in the front round, I'ma slap the hat off your head. We gonna see what's under there. Ew, you're disgusting. Nice shirt, by the way, you jerk. Girl! You just gonna close the door? Dang! She's got no emotions. I, I like it. I like it, girl. Are you sure you're not a black man or a black woman? That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I would do. Now people are getting it. Now you understand. If I walked in somewhere and I see this, somebody getting dragged out, I would literally make that face and then just be like, okay, we're just gonna close the door and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out. Congratulations, girl. You're invited to the black barbecue just for that action right there. So we all know who Bloody Mary is, but have you heard of the Queen of Spades? She is known as the Russian version of Bloody Mary, and even scarier. Why are you wearing a raincoat? Summon her. To play the game, you need a playing card. So of course, the Queen of Spades. For best results, this game should be played between 11 p.m. and 3 a.m. Now go into a dark room with a mirror, preferably a bathroom. No. Place the Queen of Spades card right up against the mirror and make sure you light a candle. So now you're gonna take red lipstick and you're gonna draw a door with some stairs and it should look just like this picture right Like here. a child now drew it. Time to stand in front of the mirror and focus your mind. Close your eyes and say, Queen of Spades, come. Keep your eyes closed and visualize in your mind the Queen of Spades opening up the door and walking up the stairs, just like in the picture that you drew. Some say during this part, they hear evil laughter, whispers, and even footsteps. When you open your eyes, the Queen of Spades will be right in front of you. No, she won't. Staring at you. And now you can make a wish. Just make sure she doesn't come out of the mirror and into our world. Or you'll be in trouble. What? Girl, you are freaky. If she don't stop making that creepy face, I mean, jeez. Are there people out there that actually play these games and try to summon uh, demons and, and stuff out of mirrors? You look ridiculous, you know that? I mean, dang, girl. How big of eyelashes do you need? I mean, it looks like you got tarantula legs on your eyelids. I'm about to call the exterminator. You're giving me arachnophobia. Oh, what the f what? Ah! Oh, uh, who's dying? Who's dying? I oh, saw the grudge lady okay. sitting on that table. She did a weird 
whip her hair back and forth and then she pointed at me. This is the creepiest haunted house I've ever seen in my life. If I see a creepy girl that has her hair covering up her face and she's sitting on, on my good desk, I guarantee I'm about to put her in time out. Guess what, girl? You're grounded, okay? Don't disappear. Don't you dare even, don't, don't disappear. Stop disappearing. You're grounded. You, you know what? Dang it. She done left. <sighs> it's getting harder and harder to ground these kids, especially if they're ghost children. It's ridiculous. But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and smack that like button. And yeah, I'ma see ya in the next one. Peace.